all right now if you've been on this channel for a little while then you know that i rarely but i i do sometimes chime in with my thoughts about recent breaking news whether it be you know music uh movies entertainment politics sometimes and in this case you know as the title suggests we're going to be talking a little bit not not a long video about the um i guess you could say the next celebrity charge in this me too times up climate that we're still in since uh the beginning of uh 2018 when it really became you know like a hashtag and everybody's you know um i guess you could say putting out allegations like what was it a couple weeks ago it was morgan freeman and uh i guess you could say last week i believe it was last week it was uh jamie fox who was accused in 2002 so we're looking at almost um 20 years i think what like 15 16 years ago yeah so we're almost at a 20 year mark and this w woman said that jamie fox smacked her in the face with his um um uh I, I know you're probably wondering jeremy just say it well you know i got to think about you know demonetization here uh penis so basically yeah literally she says that she was hit in the face with his junk and um you know he said it was a he says it's a lie and you know i guess they're, they're going to fight these charges and whatnot and I, if i'm not mistaken isn't jamie fox hosting the bet awards pretty soon here so i honestly don't really have much to say about it in terms of my opinion i, I just feel like um i, I think i might have mentioned this in a previous video before I'm not against like, hey, people, if you if you if you were victimized or whatever the case may be of rape or sexual assault or, you know, being touched in the wrong way, then, hey, go for it in terms of get, seeking justice. But at the same time, these charges, the more they come out, the more it's kind of like, eh, especially if it's been almost 20 years, like I get it, you know. You, you might you might have spoke out when the thing when the um situation happened but because the star being the star and who he was your voice was you know deafened like nobody could hear you because their celebrity was just so big but at the same time it's like i asked the question what in a, not in a joking matter because you know i've seen like um uh, you know like the breakfast club i've read articles and seen little snippets of videos here and there where they're like well jamie must have some you know a long thing if he's able to smack people in the face with it but for a woman to be smacked by his junk you know i you would think she would be down in that general area for that to happen especially if it's like he hit me in the face so that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying on that but it's just like how far is too far with this in terms of when people seem to be reaching for something because I'm not going to lie. This does seem like more of a money grab than an actual assault kind of thing. And uh, yeah, there. I mean, what what's next? Is somebody from like 1993 going to come out and say that? Yeah, back in 1993, LL Cool J, I was at one of his concerts, and while he was licking his lips in the middle of one of his songs, some of his saliva hit me in the face. So, yeah, that was assault. Is, is that is that what we're going to next? So, yeah, like I said before, like, men and women, but, you know, obviously it seems like there's more women coming out now than men. I think Terry Crews is, like, one of the few, if only, um, big-time male celebrities that have come out with some news about him being touched inappropriately. Yeah, if you went through something, go ahead and speak on it. But at the same time, it's like, don't wait like 15, 20, 30 years to talk about, you know, something that happened way back when. But may, I, I, hey, maybe it's because social media and whatnot wasn't back in those days. So maybe that's why today it's so e I get. Oh, well, um, I, I really have no other word to describe, but easy to get your voice heard out there. But at the same time, there are a lot of people out there who are just doing this for money when nothing really happened to them, which is tarnishing the reputations and damaging the wallets of these celebrities who are innocent. But at the same time, there are people out there who really went through some stuff, but now they're going to be looked down upon because they... I mean, people just think they're out for money. But in any case, for all these people out there who have been through something, 
because they had no say in it, meaning that they were forced on or something like that, then I hope they get justice. But for people out there who are just doing it for the money or to be honest, and again, I'm just playing devil advocates here. And if you don't want my opinion, then I suggest turn the video off. What I have a problem with is that we live in a society where it's guilty until proven innocent. And I do. But I actually listened to uh, Neo's. Um, he was on the Breakfast Club for about 30, 40 minutes sometime last week. And I, I tuned in. It was actually pretty good. And um, interviews on uh, the Breakfast Club YouTube channel. And he, what he said is really what I think. That don't accuse somebody. Well, you can accuse somebody. That's where the allegations come from. But in terms of like somebody being charged as guilty until they're proven guilty like these people out there who are ceos and whatnot they have to you know step down as the head of their companies um they lose their endorsements and whatnot they aren't even guilty in terms of the legal system has not there hasn't even been an investigation it's just somebody came out made these allegations and now these people are losing their positions their money their power like i said before if they're guilty let the legal system take care of it now yes I know the legal system isn't considered fair by, you know, most Americans in general, but at the same time, it is a process. Yes, it's not always built for like the black man or whatnot, or, you know, I don't mean to get on the soapbox here, but in terms of these allegations, we really need to be careful because no pun intended at all. No, no jokes, all jokes aside, it is a slippery slope. Like if people are coming out with these quote unquote assaults that seem a bit smaller than like there is that uh, woman who claimed that chris brown or like a bunch of his friends raped her now i heard part of the story i couldn't even make it through the entire story because my gosh the graphic details were something else but yeah i i just feel like we definitely need to let these investigations happen because when it turns out the person is not guilty the media really doesn't cover it as much as when the allegations first come out. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts on the Jamie Foxx allegations. What are your thoughts on this Me Too and Time's Up movement? Do you think it's gone a bit too far in terms of just because one person speaks out, next thing you know, it's a media frenzy, and the person being accused loses a lot of their status, their power, their money, their endorsements, even before they have been proven guilty in the court of law. So with that being said, let's have some civil discussions in the comment section below because I that's why I rarely do these videos because opinions are a dangerous thing to have nowadays. But if we have some solid conversations in the comment section and I read some of them, I'll be more than happy to do like a live stream where I have people join me on, uh, you know, probably through uh, Google Hangout or something, and we can have some live discussion. So thanks so much for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll talk to you soon.